Hello, and welcome to Energy Risk Engineering Stories. Thanks for coming back. Today, we're going to dive in and actually use ChatGPT to learn something. We're going to use ChatGPT to help summarize and explore the API world of standards for the refinery industry. Hello, and welcome to this video on API Standard 571, Damage Mechanisms Affecting Fixed Equipment in the Refining Industry. API Standard 571 is a guideline that helps refinery operators identify, evaluate, and mitigate damage mechanisms that can affect fixed equipment in the refining industry. Damage mechanisms are specific types of wear, corrosion, or other degradation that can occur in equipment over time and can lead to equipment failure if not properly addressed. The goal of API Standard 571 is to help refinery operators extend the useful life of their equipment by identifying and understanding the various damage mechanisms that can affect their equipment and by developing strategies to prevent or mitigate these mechanisms. The standard covers a wide range of damage mechanisms that can affect different types of equipment, including process heat exchangers, pressure vessels, piping, tanks, and other types of fixed equipment. One of the key features of API Standard 571 is its focus on understanding the root causes of damage mechanisms. By identifying the underlying causes of damage, refinery operators can take steps to prevent or mitigate these mechanisms, rather than simply reacting to the symptoms of the damage. For example, corrosion is a common damage mechanism that can affect many types of equipment in a refinery. There are many different types of corrosion, and each type can have its own unique set of root causes. By understanding the root causes of corrosion, refinery operators can take steps to prevent or mitigate the corrosion, such as by using corrosion-resistant materials, applying protective coatings, or implementing proper corrosion control practices. Another important aspect of API Standard 571 is its emphasis on proactive maintenance. By regularly inspecting and testing equipment for signs of damage, and by implementing preventative maintenance practices, refinery operators can identify potential issues before they lead to equipment failure. This can help reduce the risk of unplanned downtime and costly repairs, and can improve the overall safety and reliability of the refinery. In summary, API Standard 571 is a valuable resource for refinery operators who want to improve the performance and reliability of their equipment by understanding and addressing damage mechanisms, refinery operators can extend the useful life of their equipment and reduce the risk of accidents and incidents. Now let's take a look at process safety management in refineries as guided by the API standard. Let's continue on with API 754, the recommended practice for a process safety performance indicators program, PSPI. API 754 is a document published by the American Petroleum Institute, or API, which provides guidelines for establishing and maintaining a PSPI program. A PSPI program is a proactive approach to managing process safety by identifying and tracking key performance indicators, or KPIs, that can help identify potential risks and hazards in a facility. The purpose of API 754 is to provide a standardized approach for implementing a PSPI program and to help organizations continuously improve their process safety performance. It provides recommendations on how to select and define KPIs, how to track and report on them, and how to use the results to drive continuous improvement. It is intended to complement other process safety management standards such as API 753 and API 756 which focus on more specific aspects of process safety management. One of the key benefits of using API 754 is that it helps organizations identify and prioritize areas for improvement in their process safety performance. By regularly tracking and analyzing KPIs, organizations can identify trends and patterns that may indicate potential risks or hazards and take corrective action to prevent incidents from occurring. API 754 is not a mandatory standard, but is widely recognized as a best practice for implementing a PSPI program. Many organizations have found that implementing a PSPI program based on API 754 has helped them improve the process safety performance and reduce the risk of incidents and accidents. API 754 is intended for use by organizations that operate process facilities, such as oil and gas refineries, chemical plants, and power plants. Okay, now let's look at what API standards apply to fire protection in refineries. We continue on to API standards related to refinery fire protection. 
Refineries are complex facilities that process a wide variety of hazardous materials, and it is essential that appropriate measures are taken to protect personnel, equipment, and the environment from fires and explosions. API, or the American Petroleum Institute, is a leading organization that develops and publishes standards and recommended practices for the oil and natural gas industry. API has been a cornerstone in establishing, maintaining, and publishing standards and recommended practices for the oil and gas, natural gas industry. These standards help ensure the safety and integrity of refinery operations and contribute to the overall efficiency and competitiveness of the industry. Some of the key API standards related to refinery fire protection include API 2350. This standard provides guidelines for overfill protection for storage tanks. It recommends the use of high and low level alarms, as well as automatic shutoff valves to prevent tanks from being overfilled and potentially rupturing or spilling. API 653, this standard covers inspection, repair, alteration, and reconstruction of storage tanks. It includes recommendations for fire protection, including the use of fire-resistant coatings, fire suppression systems, and emergency shutdown systems. API 753, this standard covers the management of process safety in refineries. It includes recommendations for fire protection, including the use of fire prevention and detection systems, emergency shutdown systems, and firefighting systems. API 580, this standard covers risk-based inspection, RBI, for refineries. It includes recommendations for fire protection, including the use of RBI to identify and prioritize inspection and maintenance activities for fire protection systems. API 936. This standard covers the design, construction, and qualification of refractory linings. It includes recommendations for fire protection, including the use of refractory linings to protect equipment and structure from heat and fire. It is important to note that these are just a few of the API standards related to refinery fire protection. There are many others that cover specific areas such as process safety management, emergency shutdown systems, and firefighting equipment. Refineries are a key step in getting oil to market and meeting growing global energy demand, but they are only a piece of the process to bring energy from the ground to consumers. API standards play a critical role in ensuring the safety and efficiency of this process and help the industry invent and manufacture superior products consistently. In conclusion, API standards related to fi refinery fire protection are essential for ensuring the safety and integrity of refinery operations. These standards provide guidelines and recommendations on various aspects of fire protection, including storage tank overfill protection, inspection and maintenance of fire protection systems, and the design and construction of refractory linings. By following these standards, refineries can reduce the risk of fires and explosions and improve their overall process safety performance. Okay, now let's look at what API standards apply to natural hazards in refineries. Natural hazards such as earthquakes, hurricanes, and floods can have significant impacts on the oil and natural gas industry, including disruptions to production and transportation, damage to infrastructure and equipment, and environmental spills. API has published several standards that provide guidance on how to mitigate the impacts of natural hazards and ensure the safety and integrity of industry operations. Some of the key API standards related to natural hazards include API RP753. This standard covers the management of process safety in the oil and natural gas industry. It includes recommendations for natural hazard planning and preparedness, including the development of natural hazard risk assessments and emergency response plans. API RP754. This standard covers the management of process safety in refineries and chemical plants. It includes recommendations for natural hazard planning and preparation, including the development of natural hazard risk assessments and emergency response plans. API RP755. This standard covers the management of process safety in offshore oil and natural gas operations. It includes recommendations for natural hazard planning and preparedness, including the development of natural hazard risk assessments and emergency response plans. In API RP 756, this standard covers management of process safety in onshore oil and natural gas operations. It includes recommendations for natural hazard planning and preparation, including the development of natural hazard risk assessments and emergency response plans. API RP 757. This standard covers management of process safety in pipeline operations. It includes recommended practices for natural hazard planning and preparedness, including the development of natural hazard risk assessments and emergency response plans. These API standards provide guidance on how to identify and assess the risks posed by natural hazards and how to develop and implement appropriate measures to mitigate those risks. 
By following these standards, companies can better protect their personnel, equipment, and the environment and ensure the continuity of operations in the face of natural hazards.